In a controversial move, Istanbul Basaksehir has fined Israeli midfielder Eden Karzev for a social media post in support of his compatriots being held hostage in Gaza. Karzev had shared a slogan calling to bring them home now on Instagram, which the club deemed as a violation of the sensitive values of their country. This incident comes after Sogiv Jehezkel, who signed for Antaliaspa in September, returned home to Israel following a gesture of solidarity with hostages in Gaza. During a Turkish Super League match, Jehezkel held up his bandaged hand that read 100 days. Seven tenths, symbolizing the length of time the hostages had been held. The bandage also included a Star of David. These actions have sparked controversy and raised questions about the role of football players in political and social issues. Now, let's take a step back and look at the context. The hostages in Gaza are a result of the deadly attacks launched by Hamas on southern Israel, which claimed the lives of around 1,200 people, mostly civilians. Approximately 240 people were taken back to Gaza as hostages, with 132 still being held. In response, Israel carried out a bombardment of Gaza, resulting in the deaths of over 23,000 people, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. This ongoing conflict has deeply affected both Israelis and Palestinians, and tensions are high. While it's understandable that football players may feel compelled to express their support for their compatriots or raise awareness about political issues, it's important to consider the consequences. In this case, both Karzev and Jehezkel faced disciplinary actions from their respective clubs. This raises questions about the limits of freedom of expression for football players and the role of clubs in managing these situations. What do you think? Should football players be allowed to express their political views and show solidarity with social causes? Or should they strictly focus on the game and refrain from making any statements that could be seen as controversial? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it for today's football news. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.